welcome back and thank you for joining me for today's video. Today is going to be a pack with me video because on Sunday I am going on Track America. So in case you don't know what Track America is, it's basically a company that organises trips to America for kind of like our age group, I'd say maybe 18 to 35. Um, and you can choose where in America you want to go, they have set kind of itineraries and um, you can choose how long you go for. I'm going for eight days with a group of eight bloggers and we're going to, um, we're doing the west coast trip. So we're starting off by flying to LA and we're doing Santa Monica, Santa Barbara and then we're going inland to Yosemite and then we're going back to the coast and finishing our trip in San Francisco. So when I was packing for this trip or while I'm packing, I've kind of got in mind that it's not going to be as rough and ready kind of camping as I originally thought. So there's a few things um, that in other kind of trips I would have taken with me that I'm leaving behind and it's more going to be a bit of a city kind of beachy trip. So that's the vibe that I've gone for when I'm packing. Hopefully I've got that right. And because there is quite a lot of things that I need to go through, I'm just gonna get started. So first of all, my case is a huge new suitcase that I got from Eastpac. And I decided to get a soft one as opposed to a hard shell suitcase because I think if you're camping or um, will be traveling around on a tour bus, a soft case is just so much easier to like squish in places. It's a lot more flexible. Um, and I feel like it'll be a little bit more lightweight as well. So I've gone for this big brown one from Eastpac. I think it's quite a, a practical color. The case opens up into two sections, which is really, really handy. It means that I can see a lot more of my stuff more easily. And in this first section, you can see I've got my kind of large items. The first thing in that section is my sleeping bag. So I definitely could have gone to a shop and bought a smaller one because this one is about five years old and I'm sure sleeping bag technology has come a long way since I bought it. And you can probably get smaller ones now. Um, but I didn't see the point in buying a new one. This one is a four season sleeping bag, which means it's really temperature regulating. It'll keep me warm if it's cool. It'll keep me cool if it's warm and vice versa. Um, and I got this a few years ago when I actually went to Tanzania for a month and I slept in this in freezing cold temperatures up on the top of Kilimanjaro. So I know that this is a really good sleeping bag. Huge, but um, yeah, don't want to buy a new one. So that's my sleeping bag. Also from my trip to Tanzania, I have this towel. This is actually called a Trek towel and I do have a normal towel in my bag as well. Um, but this is a really, really lightweight one. It's kind of like a very absorbent material so it takes no time at all to dry it's pink and yeah really really practical and it folds down to next to nothing so that is my uh, trek towel and then also in that large section is my first packing cube so i watched a few track america packing videos before i started my packing process and a lot of people recommended packing cubes for keeping all of your belongings kind of more organized in your case so I have got um, a selection of pink packing cubes and I've tried to organize my clothes in each of the cubes. So inside my first packing cube, I have a lot of my daytime outfits. As I said, we're gonna be in really nice places in California, LA, Santa Monica, Santa Barbara, and I do want to look stylish, of course. So I've packed quite a lot of nice items, but of course really thin and lightweight items as well. So I've got a few really lovely day dresses, um, I've got a pair of white jeans because they're just super, super practical and they go with so many tops. I've also got a beach cover up, a blue and white striped top from River Island, um, a pair of really lightweight trousers which are uh, flares, high waisted flares, but again they just fold up to next to nothing so that's really handy. And then I've got three different vest tops, two white and one blue. Again, these are really good for mixing and matching different outfits. I'm also taking a pair of denim shorts, um, this top which you've probably seen in lots of my recent vlogs because it's really nice for pairing with either white jeans or white shorts and I've got a pair of white shorts from Topshop which just look really really elegant but again pack up to next to nothing. And then a bit of a clash, I have the shorts which match the top that I'm wearing now. I haven't taken the tag off them yet, they're brand new. And these are just a really flattering high waist short design, which again just collapsed to a really, really tiny size. I always feel like I'm so much more productive with my hair tied up, so I'm just going to get my hair out of my face. 
Okay, I feel like I look like a school teacher now, but never mind, let's move on. The next thing in this little section is my emergency kit, and this is kind of a mix between first aid and things which I will probably just be looking for throughout the trip. So um, I've got a packet of tissues in here, I've got some hand sanitizing gel, um, I've got a couple of these little, I think they're called rescue balms from Neil's Yard. One of them is a calming one and this just helps you to kind of chill out and fall asleep and then this one is a soothing one so this is good for bruises or if you have any stings. Then I've got a selection of tablets, I've got some like ibuprofen, um, some flu tablets and also some strepsils in there. I've got some cotton pads, um, some makeup removal wipes, some calming chamomile tea bags because I tend to get quite stressed and if I have some chamomile tea it will just chill me out a little bit. Uh, what else have I got in there? I've got a little emergency sewing kit and a and a stick for any stings. So I don't know if they have mosquitoes out there. I've never been to California before, so I really don't know. Um, but I've got a little anti-mosquito or anti-sting stick as well. So that's all in this little, um, I actually got this from a Kate Spade sample sale and it's really bright, so easy to find in my suitcase. Then I have a sleeping bag liner. Again, I didn't buy this new. In fact, I don't think I've bought anything new apart from the bag. Um, this is a silk sleeping bag liner. So if it's really warm in the evenings, I can just sleep in this and maybe use my sleeping bag as a bit of a mattress to have a bit more padding. Or if it's really cold, I can put this inside my sleeping bag. And then if you get hot and sweaty, you can wash this and you don't have to wash the sleeping bag equally. If we're staying in hostels, I will probably still sleep in this just because I don't really like the idea of sleeping in um, hostel bed sheets. I think that's really bad, but yeah, I would much rather be sleeping in something which I know that I have personally washed myself. So taking this and this pink as well, which is super, of course. Then I'm taking two sets of face wipes. I remember that baby wipes when I was camping in Tanzania were just the best thing ever. I would clean my body with these, I would clean my face with them, clean my hands, clean up any spills. So Johnson's baby wipes, um, I'm taking a big pack of those. And then for my face, I'm also taking the Clinique Take the Day Off wipes. These um, come in a really good sealable packet, so they won't be going dry. They're always really moisturising, so nice to clean my face in the morning, especially if there's no um, like nice bathrooms where I can do my full cleansing routine. These are definitely the most pampering of all my face wipes. And then lastly in that first section is um, or are a few pairs of shoes. Now I'm taking these pink ones as my only pair of heels. These tend to go with a lot of the outfits that I'm taking with me. A lot of my trousers are white and these just make a fun statement but without being too clunky and they're not taking up too much room in my suitcase. And then I've got two pairs of sandals. Firstly my River Island ones. These um, are lace up ones so they always are very comfortable. They stay in place. They've got a little bit of a heel and they're quite smart so I'd be quite happy like walking around Santa Monica or Santa Barbara wearing these feeling nice and trendy but still practical at the same time. And then equally these ones from Bowdoin, these are my pom pom flip flops. I wore these loads while we were bike riding in Sicily and I think biking is um, something on our itinerary for this trip so I thought these would be right, really nice for that kind of activity. And moving on to the next section, the next part of my suitcase is a lot more full at the moment. I've got a few straggling bits of clothes in there including another pair of denim shorts, these again I wore a lot in Sicily, they are from Quiz Clothing, they've got some really nice embroidery on them, so a nice bit of detail. And then I've got uh, two pairs of sunglasses, I'm taking a cheaper pair and a slightly more luxurious pair. Um, so this is a pair from Key Australia, I wear these all the time, they don't have the noddly, noddly bits, they don't have the little plastic bits here, so I can put them on my head and they don't get caught up. And then I'm also taking this pair from River Island, they are dupes of the Dior sunglasses, um, but they are quite cheap, so if I'm doing anything like on the beach and I don't want to ruin my key ones, then I will wear these. The next thing in there is this little case. So in here I have, you know those kind of bits and bobs you always just have lurking at the bottom of your suitcase and you can never find them when you need them? Well, I thought I would put them all together in this. So it's another one of these little bags that came with my packing cubes. So I ordered five of these packing cubes from eBay. They came as a set of five and this was the smallest. And inside I've got things like a little torch. This is just a battery powered torch. Um, I was actually lent this from Charlie's little sister who just got back from 
Venezuela, I think she got back from. And then I've got a couple of adapters. I'm hoping that's the right plug for the US. I'm pretty sure that's the right one. And also I have my phone charger and a really big padlock. This is a padlock that I use in the gym. And apparently when you stay in hostels, you sometimes have to put your things in um, a locker and it needs quite a big padlock. So I've got my gym padlock with me. And then obviously I'll be using a smaller padlock to lock my case as well. Also in this, I will put my chargers for my camera um, and maybe my laptop if I can fit it in there. But at the moment I'm still using them. So they will be some last minute additions. Next we have my beauty bag or my toiletry bag. This one, um, I actually have more than one bag for my toiletries. I'll go into the next one in a second. But this is a clear case from a brand called Lolo. And inside it, firstly, I've got my hairbrush. I'm taking this one from the Wet Brush or Wet, Wet Brush Pro. And I'm just taking this one because it's really, really lightweight. It's plastic and um, it's really easy to comb through my hair when it's super knotty. And then at the top, I've got my first little case from a brand called Lockie, and I got a set of three of these. I'm taking all three of these cases with me. This one has got kind of lightweight stuff in it, including my flannel and some cotton pads for taking off makeup. And the rest of the contents of this case is my makeup. So this, for me, is hardly anything to take with me because basically I've taken the smallest of everything that I own. So for example, um, with my contour blusher and highlight, it's all in this Zoeva palette. Um, my eyeshadow, this tiny little quad from Charlotte Tilbury is all that I'm taking. I've got minis of my favourite skincare, like the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. I've got a mini of that. And I basically have been collecting minis for so long. I have a massive box underneath my bed full of minis. So I've gone through all my makeup items and taken the travel size versions where I can. And I'm also packing some really good multitasking products. So this is the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream All Over Miracle Oil. And this is such a saviour for times when you just need a little bit of pampering but don't want to take too much with you. So this can be used on the face, on the body, on the skin, on the hair. And it's just such a good little multitasking product. And it's so tiny, this version that I've got. So that's definitely coming with me. So that's all my makeup in there. Um, if you want to see more of a detail of what's in my makeup slash toiletry bag, then let me know. Maybe I'll cover it on Snapchat while I'm out there. But just let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more um, as to what beauty things I'm taking with me to Track America. And then they all fit inside this case and I chose the clear one on purpose because it's really easy for me to see what's inside so I don't have to really rummage too much, it's quite clear to see where everything is. So the second of these gorgeous little locky bags, I just really love them because they're so flimsy and flexible, you can just really shove them into any gap in your suitcase. This is the largest one that I'm taking and inside here it's more actual toiletries. So I've got things like deodorant, um, I've got my portable razor, this is one of those Venus, I think it's called a Venus Snap, but really handy little razor. And then again loads of travel minis. So I'm taking a Kerastase deep conditioner, of course my Purology Colour Fanatic, you guys know how obsessed with this I am, cannot go anywhere without it. Um, and then I've got a mini mouthwash, a mini Dr. Bronner um, Pure Castile soap, and I think this is one of these really good um, multitasking ones, so I can clean my body with it, I can clean my clothes with it, you can clean your makeup brushes with it, so that's really, really handy. I'm also taking the Clarins Water Comfort One Step Cleanser. This is like a micellar water, so all you need to do is pop it on a cotton pad and uh, wipe away your makeup, so really good again if you don't have a nice bathroom or running water. So this is going to be great for removing my makeup. Then I've also got a mini dry shampoo, I've got a full size one as well, but I'll take that out if I don't have enough room. Um, I've got another Dr. Bronner product here. This is their Lavender Organic Hand Sanitizer. I have got a hand sanitizing gel in my emergency bag, but I think I'll just use this every evening before my makeup routine and also every morning because when you're camping, it's nice to keep sterile, obviously. So yeah, this is a really lovely smelling one. And then annoyingly, I have to take the full size versions of these because I don't have any smaller ones. I've got my Piswin Factor 15 Tan and Protect Tan Accelerating Spray because it is pretty hot there at the moment and I think the sun's quite strong so I thought I'd better take an SPF with me. And then I'm also taking my Avon Skin So Soft Dry Oil Spray because this is also an insect repellent. So I'll be spritzing myself with this 
every evening before we head out just to be safe. So everything is zipped up into this bag and I can just shove this into any available space in my suitcase. The next few things that are in here are my kind of comfortable clothes. So even though we're going to be in a really lovely glamorous place, I know that in the evenings when it gets chilly I'm just going to want to be comfy. So I'm taking a few things that are just super super comfortable. The first one is this jumper, it says I'm in, it's actually from a Clarins campaign that they ran a while ago. Um, they sent me this as well as a few products so I thought this can kind of be my chilling in the evening jumper because it's really big, oversized and it's really soft on the inside as well. Then I'm taking some hotel slippers, these are from the Champagne's Health Spa and I thought if we're in a hostel or in a campsite I just love to wear slippers all the time, I'm not going to take my emus with me so I thought I would take some hotel slippers, if I lose them or if I want to leave them behind afterwards it's no big deal because these were freebies. Also taking a dressing gown, this is a pink and white stripy one from Primark because again I like to be cosy in the mornings maybe when it's just starting to heat up but I want to leave my tent and maybe run to the bathroom it'll be really easy for me to, oh my god I hope there is a bathroom, maybe there won't be, <laughs> I don't know but either way when I leave my tent in the morning I can just put this around my shoulders. And then I've got my pyjamas, I'm just taking an old pair from Jack Wills and a spare t-shirt so I can switch around my pyjama top and then this is a really soft grey mal vest top from American Eagle I think or is it Airy? It's from Airy which is the American Eagle kind of like younger brand or their lingerie brand and that's just a really super soft top which again can be a pyjama top or just a chilling in the daytime top. I'm using a dust bag from a handbag that I bought to keep my underwear in so I definitely don't want to have my underwear like floating all around the case so I've put all of my underwear, bras, knickers and socks all in this little white bag here to keep it all together and out of sight as well. And then I've also got a pair of flip-flops. These were also sent to me um, recently along with a load of things from Braun. So they've got my Instagram photos all over them so we know confusing whose flip-flops these are. They've got my name on it, they've got my Instagram photos on. Um, and yeah, I think these will be really practical again for just nipping here and there, wearing them on the beach. And yeah, definitely thought it'd be a good idea to take some flip-flops. Then I have another little practical pouch. This one has got my memory cards inside it. So this is actually a little jewellery, um, a little jewellery pouch from Monica Veneda, but I'm using it to store my memory cards inside. And then the other thing in here is my hard drive. So oh no, it's not, that's not a hard drive. This is my portable phone charger. So this is a solar powered charger, it's from a brand called Soul Save. And I can basically hang this if I want to um, out of my tent or off my backpack and it uses solar energy to power itself and then I can charge my phone or my batteries from this and it also doubles up as a torch. Next, and this is just me packing something for major just in case, I've got a waterproof bag. So I have no idea why I own this, but I found it in my beach bag upstairs. It says E-Tam on it. Does anyone else remember Tammy, the shop that was like around when we were much younger? And this is basically a completely water resistant bag. So if we do maybe like a boat trip or I don't know, anywhere that I want to have my phone with me, but it might get wet then I'll put it in this and it doesn't take up any room so I thought it would be handy to take with me just in case. I've packed a little bag of Haribo Star Mix because you never know when you might just really crave a little bit of um, sugar so I've just shoved that in there for good measure. I'm also taking a water bottle, this one has my name on it so again we'll get confused whose it is and um, this one was also a freebie, I think I got this in a goodie bag so if I am struggling for space on the way home, if I've bought too much makeup from Sephora then I can just leave this one behind. Oh! Got a little follower! Hello, I'm Samaroni! Did you want to come and kiss your mommy? Come on now! Come on, get up! Oh, hello, Sissy! Oh, oh! Hello, Rooney! Look who's come to see me! I want to pack you in my suitcase! I'm not allowed to come in on your suitcase. Next I've got another one of these travel pouches. This one has got my swimwear inside so I thought I would collect 
all of my swimwear together. I'm taking two bikinis and one swimming costume. Probably far too many, but again, I don't want to um, risk not having enough swimwear. And yeah, I thought they're not taking up too much space, so no harm in taking a few bikinis. Then we've got another pair of sandals. These are from Topshop and they're incredibly comfortable and they look really nice as well. So I can wear them in the day or in the evening. Um, yeah, really comfortable and really flattering. And I also recently picked up this little bag from Topshop. So this one packs down really flat. It's super thin, like a little envelope, but nice for day trips if we don't want to take our big bags or our hand luggage kind of bags, which I'll show you later with us, then I can just put my phone, my camera and some money in this one. Dexter is currently getting inside the suitcase. No little sausage. You can't go in there because little boys aren't allowed to come with mommy. Oh. And then the last couple of pieces, I have this which is called a UniPal Plus. I got this in South Africa when I'd lost one of my camera chargers and basically it's like a universal camera battery charger or kind of all battery charger. So if I do happen to lose any of my chargers or if something breaks or if anybody forgot to bring their charger then this is a really good universal charger for external batteries. I'm taking my favourite pair of Sweaty Betty leggings. I think when we do really active days like lots of walking or bike rides then these will be a really nice one to wear. I probably should take another pair of leggings because I feel like we might be doing that kind of stuff more often than I'm bargaining for. And then my last few pieces are in another one of these packing bags. I'm not going to go through this one because this is basically just day dresses and you've seen a lot of these before in my lookbook video um, and in previous vlogs and you'll see all of these items in my um, Trek America vlogs. So I'm not going to go through that one and also it's beautifully packed so don't want to rummage through that. Finally, I've got a towel which I got a couple of years ago from H&M, it's on its last legs, so again I thought if I need to leave this behind it's not the end of the world, um, but this will be nice to use as kind of like a blanket or just use it as a towel. But yeah, I thought it would be really handy to have a proper soft towel with me as well as my Trek towel. So that is everything that I'm taking with me in my big bag for Trek America. I'm yet to actually pack my hand luggage, but I definitely need to go out and get myself a nice big rucksack for um, using as my hand luggage on the plane and also for our day trips, because obviously my little handbag is not going to be enough for our bike rides and our treks. So that's on my shopping list. I'm going to be wearing a pair of trainers to travel in, and I'm actually leaving behind my hiking boots. I do have a pair of hiking boots which probably, if I had more luggage allowance, would come with me. But um, yeah, I think that I'll be okay with trainers, so fingers crossed, because they're so bulky, I really do not want to have to bring my massive boots with me. Um, and the other thing that I have got coming is a lovely straw hat, which I've ordered from Mango, I believe, but I actually got it from ASOS. Um, but yeah, you guys will see that and all the other fashion bits and bobs, which I'm probably going to pick up in town now, um, on my videos, my vlogs. I'm going to be vlogging the trip. I'm going to be Snapchatting, Instagramming, all of that. So guys, make sure you're definitely following me on Snapchat. I'll leave my username here if you're not following me already, because it's going to be um, some really fun snapping opportunities, I'm sure. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'm hopefully going to be publishing this a few days before I go. So if you think I've forgotten anything, maybe if you've been on Trek America yourself, then please leave me a note in the comments because I always have that fear that I'm forgetting something. I will, of course, be packing my laptop, my cameras, um, my chargers, my phone and all that kind of stuff in my hand luggage. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, I can't wait to vlog my treks and I can't wait to share them with you. So I'll see you very soon and thanks for watching. Bye.